Uh, welcome back to Disgaea PC. This is Caffeine Gaming, and we're in a new chapter. Uh... Episode 12, War of the Netherworld, Part 1. Part 1, huh? Yep, there's two parts to this. So, first of all... What was that? That's a good question. It felt like an earthquake, but they barely ever happen around here. But whenever there's one, something big always happens. Why are you so happy about this? I wonder what catastrophe will happen this time. Okay. The Prince! Several giant objects have appeared at the Stellar Graveyard, dude! That Again? Quick. How many? Dude, there are billions of them! Oh. You what? hear that, Jennifer? The EDF is here to save us! We can go home! Wait, Gordon. We can't be so sure. Even if it was the EDF. Why would they send so many ships? Jennifer is the only smart one oh, in this group. Oh, come on. Why are you being so pessimistic? It's not like you. Because she's already putting the pieces together, Gordon. Well, why don't we go check it out? I agree. Sitting here won't do any good. We kind of already know that something's weird's happening, oh, so... To the stellar it's not really a, spo a spoiler to say that the uh, humans are up to no good. And, like, we know that they're up to no good. It's been a while since the last natural disaster. Let's see, there was the time when the king was so happy that the queen accepted his proposal, he knocked over a few mountains. The time when the king was so thrilled that the prince was born, he froze the ocean. And the time when the king was so sad because of the queen's passing, he split the earth in two. Wouldn't those, wouldn't you consider those to be artificial disasters? Yeah, about that. What could those unident unidentified objects be? Space battle cruisers, giant robots? Well, the way things have been going lately, they could be just about anything, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Is it me or the humans overshadowing you, Prince? N no, they're not. It's just you. Let's hope so. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to. You. I've always loved sci-fi stories. Oh, that's good to know. Since when was another world open to the public? Who cares? It's more fun this way. <laughs> All right, let's go in here real quick. Prince, I'm, uh, going to the back. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and read Stolen Memories, my precious memory, the dying words of the king. I'd protect the prince. Not long after I made that promise, my memories were stolen. I don't know if he knew of my promise, but it was Medeiros who stole my memories and plotted to take over the throne. He proposed a deal to me. If I wanted my memories back, I had to kill the prince. It's ironic that in my stolen memories was my promise to protect the prince, but I had no choice. Yeah, that's kind of hard, you know, if you, um, don't know what you were plan- not planning? Planning? I don't know. Those giant unidentified objects are in the cellar graveyard, too. Since we don't know what's there, do whatever tickles your fancy. I want to check on something real quick here. Um, yeah, so I apparently unlocked the Holy Orb at some point in time. I'm not actually not entirely sure when I did. Uh, so we're gonna want to grab that. I'm gonna very quickly go through this and see if I can find one that I really like, and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. That didn't take very long. I wanted the Arms Masters. Went ahead and claimed that. Uh, so that item... Let me show you guys. Oh, it's... Oh, I gotta get rid of some stuff. Uh, that item really increases your SP. Um, I'm thinking the Devil Ring. No. Uh, the Blood Ring is really what needs to go away. I think the Star Orb needs to be shuffled out, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, that'll work. Oh my gosh. There we go. And what we'll do with the Star Orb is we will um, just, you know, go through it in the item world. Uh, what I do want to do, I'm going to go ahead and quickly sort this. We have a bunch of items that I don't really want. So let's clear all of this stuff out really quick. Oh, hey, there's a flan in here. That, uh, you can see here, that heals a lot of HP. So, yeah, that's, that's good. Um, the Night Slants here has eight Arms Masters, but it's not enough to warrant me carrying at this point. So we're just going to toss it. Um... That's not worth keeping. That's not worth keeping. We'll go ahead and go through that as well. And that's pretty much all we've got here. So let me go ahead and move over the flan. It's a different type of flan than our flan. And I'm going to keep the star orb with me as well. Oh, we got a cha-ching hand as well. Um, so you can steal items 
from people, which I guess is pretty cool. Um, we may or may not do a little bit of that. I don't know. I just don't know. Let's go ahead and save here. And um, let's go ahead and jump on into. We have detected giant objects in the Stellar Graveyard too. I feel great power. Prince, be careful. There's no power greater than mine. Just relax and wait for my return. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go into em Embryon. Let's do it. Okay. That's not creepy. Soldiers of the EDF. I told you, Jennifer, just like I said. Hmm. I've never seen so many humans all at once. So, what'd they come all the way here for? Aren't they here to rescue Mr. Gordon? Don't you think they're acting kind of strange, though? That's creepy. <laughs> Let's just What's move on wrong? from the muffled breathing. Your beloved hero is right here. It's creepy, right? Hey, guys, it's me, Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Why do you have to say it like that every Not single time? Who are you? Poor Mr. Gordon. Claude. <laughs> don't be silly. I'm the Defender of Earth. All the kids love me. I had my own comic series and Saturday morning cartoon. Is that something to be proud of? Impressed. They have no emotion. Gordon, we've been used. Used? What do you mean, Jennifer? They asked us to defeat the Overlord, but their true purpose was to secure a route to the Netherworld. Now we've already we already know this from previous cutscenes. They are risking their lives to save us. How could you accuse them of? But Gordon. Can't you see? No, he's dumb. <laughs> Enough of this. I don't want to hear it. I'm shocked and disappointed in you. I hereby dismiss you from your duties as my assistant. Ouch. Poor Jennifer. I, I must have faith in the people of Earth. Unfaltering, unwavering faith. For the record, that's what gets you into trouble. It's my duty as defender of Earth. Right, guys? Captain Gordon. Defender of Earth, you are to be terminated. No! <laughs> Sucks to be you! All the kids love me, huh? Right. Poor Mr. Gordon. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, wait! What are you doing? Well, we're going into battles, what's happening here. Alright, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Um, these battles do not get any easier. They get harder. So just heads up. The green area down here is ally damage 20%. We're not gonna want to go in those. Let's go ahead and just start bringing our guys out. Um, I'm gonna bring Laharl right here and just start off with a wind cutter on that guy. They're gonna bum rush us uh, right after this, so don't worry about it. There's gonna be a lot more rushing uh, in this game <laughs> from here on out. They're not gonna be waiting for us for very much longer. It's not gonna be like we get to sit here and wait for the enemies, or like they, they won't wait for us to come to them. They're, they're just gonna come tack us. This battle's kind of gonna start doing that, but it's gonna be in the upcoming battles that, that's gonna be really, really evident. So now we're gonna wanna avoid going into the, oh, of course there's a target. Can I use this guy? Okay, let's use Knight Sever. You showed this off. Uh, they don't have any skills, so we have actually no reason to have the enemy effects on at all. Which, it's interesting why they- I don't know why they don't have any skills. I guess because they're just basic humans. Um, I got nothing. And we're not going to be using anything special in this battle, so don't worry about it too much. Um, they are harder. They are really, really hard. That is one thing that you're gonna find coming into this battle, is the enemies are going to get exponentially more difficult. And we're gonna talk about what to do about that later, but for right now, I don't care. <laughs> oh, I realized that there was a guy down there. Completely for- ow! So these guys do have quite a heavy counter, by the way, so we're gonna wanna make sure we take them out, um, before they counter us. Do this. That Night Sever is really, really powerful. It doesn't work on skills, so that's kind of a nice thing, but it does work on, like, if you use a gun, like, if you shoot these guys, they will shoot back. 
so be cautious and see if he'll do it. Yeah, like that. I don't know why I wanted to show that off. This is really not useful. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal up our mascot. I don't know why she takes so much damage compared to everybody else. And let me go ahead and bring these two up here. I'm gonna go ahead and attack, and then I'm gonna go ahead and attack again. Should take care of that guy. Yeah, we're gonna be leveling up quickly. These guys are level 44, so they are much more, like, higher level than us. We'll get quite a bit of XP for them. The good thing is, as right now in this battle, they're not that difficult. They're, I mean, they're not easy, but they are also not hard. So, that's good. That's really good. I would also really suggest not using Laharl for every single enemy. Try and spread out your love. Try and spread the love out a lot, actually. All right, so let's go ahead and get a Sky Lunge off. And then let's get an Impaler off. And then, let's see here. Yeah, she's still a little behind. Can you get a bullet storm off on that guy? Yes. Let's go ahead and bring Flan up a little bit. Flan, I'm holding Flan back a little bit because her spells are extra powerful. And as much as I want her to help level up, I really don't want her to um, just like dominate, which is what's going to end up happening. I want to make sure that my other guys get at least a little bit of a chance to do some stuff. Ow! Rude. Uh, is that it up here? Do we see the last one? He's the last one. Okay. No, that's... Okay. Well, I didn't want Laharl to kill him, but I guess these things happen. So... Hmm. Why would the EDF attack me? Are you stupid? Duh! They stabbed you in the back! You're slow! Thanks, Edna. Beep, beep, blip, beep. Captain Gordon, incoming message from General Carter. Ah, Gordon! I see that you're still alive. What? <laughs> With your help securing a route, we were able to make it here unchallenged. Now, the Netherworld will be ours. I thank you, Defenders of Earth. <laughs> your laugh sucks. Oh my god! We were being used? <sighs> Are you just realizing that now? Yeah, even Flan's like, what the heck? Aren't you happy, Flan? There's someone even dumber than you. Yeah. Like, Flan's naive. Like, she's just straight up naive. I don't think she's necessarily dumb. Uh, she does seem to catch up on, like, catch on to things really quick, but she's like, she's very idealistic. Gordon is just... <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. I knew of their plan all along. Gordon's so full of himself. He's very egotistical, so... Liar! Thank you, Edna. Gordon, you were a splendid pawn. I will tell the people of Earth that Captain Gordon died valiantly while fighting the Overlord. It's the least I can do for you. Well then, Gordon, so long. Ha 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 ha. There are some promising humans out there. Yeah, unfortunately, they're here to take over the Netherworld. I was thinking the same thing. Should we try to recruit him? Will you stop joking around? This is a serious matter! No, oh, Jennifer. J Jennifer? You idiot! She's probably hurt because you trusted them instead of her. Oh well, it's none of my business. Didn't you dismiss her just a minute ago, Gordon? It's funny because it's kind of like Etnik really cares about, you know, what other people are doing, but she's the way her, her the way her, that she shows it is kind of like tough love. Oh, poor Miss Jennifer. Cuz she'll say really blatant things which I don't necessarily agree with. She's a demon. And um but it gets the point uh, across. J Jennifer, about that dismissal. Do we ever discover? It's okay, Gordon. I deserve to be dismissed. Jennifer. Thursday, not the one to blame. All Gordon's fault. Thank you, Thursday. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jennifer. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, uh, that ended that abruptly. Good grief. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and heal on up here. Just a chong. Uh, we probably won't unlock anything for a little bit. What we really need to do, um, if you can see the SP here, we really need to get to 30,000 SP. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can obviously do it the, you know, real way. Um, you can also go in here and like unequip and then re-equip. Uh-oh. Re-equip something. So when you do that, you can see here that will heal up and it's, uh, it costs quite a bit to do that. And you can see that we've increased our SP. So you could do that. You can do that like across the board if you really want to and kind of like cheat in that regard. Um, that's completely up to, to you. Now here's what I'm gonna do in between episodes because it's gonna take us a little time. Uh, we're gonna go in to the star orb, see if we can get the arms masters. Get the positions, that would be really great too. Uh, and we're gonna do the same thing probably with the muscle fight here. These are really low like rank items, so it shouldn't take that long to do, I'm hoping. Um, we have a ton of Mr. Jensi's exits. Don't forget to take one of these with you so you don't have to go to the end like honestly if you don't hit floor 10 with these guys but you get all two or three of the residents like don't worry about it just get those use your mr jensi's exit and then leave um obviously you don't use all of them because you're you know you'll need to get them but if you aren't finding them you can do that uh they do level up but these guys are kind of really low level items so we don't really care to get to the bottom of the item world and we have better stuff anyway so that's fine um additionally there's gonna be some other stuff that we're gonna be doing this episode so i hope you got or not this episode but this this ep this in-game episode not this episode of this youtube oh that's confusing Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.